Let's continue. Episode 5 of this adventure with the German. So far, so good. Uh, things are getting a little bit better. Have our, our army of elite tanks uh, hanging around, so I think it's time to move ahead and uh, do some damage on the uh, Genghis Khan. I mean, the guy's been bothering me since the beginning of the game. I think it's time to get some payback. What you guys think, right? <laughs> so let's go and move a little bit to Aleppo. I think they only have, uh, yes, they have some riflemen in there. So let's see if we can get uh, some cruisers in there to provide me some naval support. Uh, so far, uh, things are looking okay, except for this galleon is still looking for a freaking island to <laughs> expand. Um, just proving my point once again. Ah, oh, shut up! Just proving my point once again that it's extremely important to uh, to expand to the islands as soon as possible. Right? Let me move back my my fighters. Uh, let me move my spy. Continue getting some Panzer tanks. And uh, things are looking pretty pretty good in here. Let's see if we can. Put some pressure and uh, try to get rid of this uh, Mongolian. At least put it under control. Ooh. I think we're gonna need some tanks for this. Yeah, I have nothing else. And yeah, no, I, I, I realized that I made a mistake because uh, I should try to keep up. Oh, well, it wasn't a mistake. The things happen, and uh, I have been extremely rusty. But um, I think I could. I should have focused the main part, the first part, of the, I'm sorry, the first part of the game, in getting a bunch of uh, warriors and a barracks. That way, all my soldiers, my warriors, are going to become elite right away. Um, but again, things happen. Um, like I say, uh, we're still playing in the AD, which is extremely tough, but uh, we're going to try to make it work no matter what, even with that little, little mistake, which is big, because when you play multiplayer with the Germans, um, ooh, probably there. <laughs> when you play with the with the Germans, the the first thing that you're trying to do is uh, get all the warriors, warriors, war elite warriors. Okay, so that's why it's important to rush the barracks. Um, anyway, we're gonna continue with this. Uh, hmm, see, so you keep moving over here with the plastic production. You see the beautiful. Now we start getting. We're trying to recover a little bit. Um, and one of the main reasons that we are in the situation that we are right now is because we were able to... Oh, beautiful. I'm going to disrupt the defenses so we can use the tanks and and do some real damage, right? Um, the ex uh, expansions on those islands were critical. It is critical. That is the reason that we are doing so good right now. Right? Beautiful. Should be able to bring down those Mongolian riflemen. I hope so. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. They're shooting you with PD guns, for God's sake. <laughs> um, and it's, it's critical right now that I got the the double strike with my, my tanks, right? Uh, let me see if I can get... Yeah, not too bad. I'm probably going to wait one more turn. Should be able to take care of this guy now. I just don't like to capture a city if I'm not gonna be able to get all my troops in there, because I don't like to leave my tanks or my cannons without the protection of a rifleman, right? Um, we all know that this is not a good idea, because in the next turn the guy just can attack you with a stupid army of uh, knights, and then all of a sudden, boom, all your tanks or cannons are in trouble, right? I'm going to probably wait another turn for do that. In the meantime, let me see if probably we can do something here. It's not like a prime location, but at least it's something, right? Hmm, probably the, I can see that the Greek is there, but you know, at this point, screw it. We're just going <laughs> to... Let's stay whatever we can. At this point, I'm trying to switch everything to gold production. Right now, still my my cities are providing me science, but little by little, I'm building markets, building the bank, and some of my cities uh, 
with that we should be able to to switch and uh, at this point or very soon at least to the mm, see that's why they want to move because I know they're gonna move a a bunch of uh, knights this turn so let's see probably this tank should be able to yeah of course easy overrun oh goodbye my friend I don't have any problem with you I want that city because you see they already have a a great general in there that's gonna allow me to if I do that that's gonna allow me to get elite units right away hmm that would be awesome. Anyway, so far so good. Things are doing looking pretty, pretty good. Get a rifle and it's time to put some, some roads. That's very important. Um, like I said, one of the the tricky parts about this uh, all the Civilization games. This one is more like a light version compared with Civilization 4, 3, 5, and all those the old ones. Um, I'm not gonna call it arcade. Because it still is a remarkable, remarkable work for Sid Meier. They, he really was able to bring something and uh, attract more people to civilization, um, to the civilization saga with a game like this, which is a lot more faster. You don't need to worry about that many things, but you still need to worry about some details like a production, manage of your worker, science, co production, and other stuff. There is no that many details like in religion and all the stuff like um, in civilization 4 and 5 but it's still it's very it is not that simple either oh no here in 4 good it's not that simple so oh, i got a great builder in here I'll probably go and get another wonder but i like the way that Dorman is looking at this point She's, she's got 14 in production, which is remarkable, and it's helping me to keep everything up and running. Eh, no, I'm going to use it for the market, but we're going to use it very soon. Let's see. I'll think about it. I can probably also increase the production. In, there. in the meantime, let's move ahead. I know the... And Genghis Khan is gonna try to recover the city that we just captured. As we knew it's gonna happen. It's a, a very aggressive civilization, so that's that was a given that it's gonna happen. So Oh you see those troops are had leadership and everything. Leadership. And that is because of the probably the great general that they have. So the units are coming with a special uh, elite bonuses. Uh, but at least my I got my tanks and my range. Uh, it was critical that that army of warriors. You see, it, I mean, I think at least you guys got the idea about the having those having warriors uh, become those warriors elite, and then those units are gonna get upgraded every time that you move ahead in technology, right? Uh, those tanks that I have are the warriors that I have since the beginning of the game. So, can you imagine if I had three, four, or five armies of warriors just, just staying in one location and save it for this position of the game? I, at, this, at this point, I will be able to destroy everybody. Okay, So that's why it's important. Let me switch to gold. You see, we got a good production. It's time to get the, the market going. Um, the reason is because I don't think I'm going to be able to destroy everybody. Well, things are not that easy in this game. Uh, and I can imagine that probably Alexander's already ahead in, in technology, so it will be silly for me to try to go into that direction. But again, that's something that we're gonna think about it later. Okay. For now, let's just focus on the fact that we can. Uh, look, yeah. Let me use the. There you go. Let me use this one to finish the aqueduct. That's the way this city is gonna continue growing strong and fast. That will help me a lot. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. So one of the 
another strategy that I use with the German is uh, I try to find I, I, I found a city in a good location with a lot of forest around and dedicate that uh, city just to produce warriors okay so I skip the legions I try to skip also the, the knights if it's possible um, but that actually make a big difference so we're gonna try to well, in the future we're gonna probably play again I'm gonna show you some of our strategies with the German like I said with every civilization there is no one straightforward uh, and only one strategy there is many things they need to consider when you when you play oh nice wow okay plus five gold production this is important which just right now we start getting some important bonuses that are gonna help a lot uh, to whatever victory we're looking for I guess some more infantry that will be priceless if we can right okay I see a galleon not too bad that city I'm not really considered a city for anything just gonna keep in there so I can get some gold production basically that's all I want good so far so good uh, so the next step right now will be to move ahead and trying to capture that city that the Mongolian has with a great general nice gold production get a great person now uh, no, 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 no. yeah I forgot that I have the democracy that's okay for now that's fine let's get ready for in a few more turns so we can do any switch okay for now that like I say now is the moment in where I need to see let me get a probably a market going in this one so that way I can get the production of uh, gold nice I think you can get like, some good gold production going now marketing here beautiful next turn 150 that's pretty remarkable I mean, they <laughs> let me get the bank going right away great so now I can probably focus in and go for a uh, try to go for economic victory because uh, even when I'm in a good position I don't wanna I uh, don't wanna take any chances and just um, I don't wanna take any chances of uh, oh nice we can convert this one <laughs> that's exactly what I was planning to do uh, that's awesome okay we got cash car uh, with Kashgar now we have control of a beautiful, beautiful great general. That's gonna help me a lot. Wow. Well, that was that was great. So that way I don't need to actually switch from my um, democracy, and I can move straight forward to. Nice. It's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful. I don't trust the. England and Elizabeth says something and then two, two turns after she start attacking me with night and stuff like that I don't want to take any chances so I'm gonna just keep an eye on her not taking anything anything for granted ever great 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 we're in a really good situation in here I need to make sure they can get the, those walls up and running soon. Seven turns, not too bad. But I don't want to take any chance. Let me start getting some so the advanced troops. I, and I got a cool, good gold production. So I, I, I can't really concern about. Ooh! Wow. So England is going for a culture victory at this point. I be careful. Maybe start planning to do something about it. Maybe move ahead to England. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things are moving. For now, we're doing we're doing pretty good. And uh, I don't know we're gonna probably continue in the next video and see what happens with this civilization revolution Germans. I'll be right back, guys.